everyone. Hello everyone! Your teacher Novi is back for another multiplication technique video. So kung gusto kong matutong mag-multiply ng mabilis, panoorin mo ang video na ito. Multiplying consecutive two-digit numbers starting with 5. This technique is only applicable sa dalawang numbers na magkasunod starting with 5. For example, 51 and 52, 52 and 53, 53 and 54, and so on. Let's start with example number 1. Let's multiply 51 and 52. So in this technique, meron tayong dalawang steps na susundin. Step 1, multiply the numbers at the right, then plus 50 as constant. So itong 50 constant yan. Okay, so ano yung numbers sa right? It's 1 and 2. So multiply natin yan. 1 times 2 is equal to 2 plus the constant 50. The answer is 52. Ngayon, itong 52 na to ilalagay nyo sa last part ng magiging final answer ninyo. Just like here. And then step 2. Multiply the numbers at the left. And then add the lower number from the right. Ano yung numbers sa left? 5 and 5. So, 5 times 5 is equal to 25. And then, add the lower number from the right. Ano ba ang mas maliit na number? Is it 1 or 2? So, 1. Kaya ito yung i-add natin sa 25. So, 25 plus 1 is equal to 26. Itong 26 na ngayon, ilalagay mo na sa First part ng magiging final answer mo. So, ang sagot dyan, 51 times 52 is equal to 2,652. I-check nyo nga sa mga calculator ninyo kung tama ang sagot natin. Okay. So, tama. Next, let's have another example. Multiply 53 and 54. Again, magkasunod na number is starting with 5. So again, step 1, multiply the numbers at the right, then plus 50 as constant. So 3 times 4 are the numbers on the right. It is equal to 12 plus 50 as constant. The answer is 62. Then write your answer on the last part of the final answer. And then step 2, multiply the numbers at the left, which are 5 and 5. Then add the lower number from the right. The lower number from the right is 3. So 5 times 5 is equal to 25. And then plus the lower number, which is 3, the answer is 28. Then sulat na yung sagot. 53 times 54 is equal to 2,862. Nakuha? Very good. What if we have this example? 58 times 59. Pulitin lang natin yung step 1 and 2. Step 1, multiply 8 and 9. So, the answer is 72. And then, add 50. The answer is 122. So, kapag ganito na 3 digits yung sagot ninyo sa step 1, yung sobra dito sa unahan, i-carry natin yan. I-carry over natin sa step 2. So, i-add natin yan sa step 2. Okay? So, ang kukopyahin mo lang dito sa sagot So, ang kukopyahin mo lang dito sa sagot mo sa step 1 ay eh yung Last two digits. So, 22. Yan lang yung ilalagay mo. And then, yung sobra, sa first, or sa left, i-carry over natin yan sa step 2. So, sa so step 2, multiply 5 and 5. The answer is 25. And then, add the lower number 
which is lower number on the right, which is 8. So, 25 plus 8 is 33. And then, itong 1, kinuha natin sa step 1. Kaya, ang sagot natin is 34. Nakuha ba? Okay. So, itong 34 na ang ilalagay mo sa first part ng final answer natin. So, 58 times 59 is equal to 3,422. Nakuha ba? Okay, very good. Now, let's proceed to the activity. Train your brain. Again, I'll give you 10 seconds for each question or problem. Then afterwards, you will check your answer if you got it correct. Okay, so first problem. 52 times 53. Go. And the final answer is, what do you think? 2,756. Why? 2 times 3 is 6 plus 50 is 56. This one. And then, 5 times 5 is 25 plus the lower number on the right, which is 2. That is why 27. Kaya ang final answer ng 52 times 53 is 2,756. Nakuha ba? Okay, let's proceed to the next. 54 times 55. Start. The correct answer is 2,970. Why? 5 times 4 is 20 plus 50 is equal to 70. And then 5 times 5 is 25 plus 4 is 29. That is why the final answer here is 2,970. Correct ba ang sagot ninyo? Let's proceed to the next. 55 times 56. Go. And the answer is... 3,080. Again, 5 times 6 is 30 plus 50 is 80. Then, 5 times 5 is 25 plus 5 is 30. Final answer is 3,080. Okay, for the next problem, 57 times 58. Go. The answer is 3,306. Parehas ba tayo ng sagot? Okay, very good. Now, for the last problem, 56 times 57. Go!
The answer is 3,192. 7 times 6 is 42 plus 50 is equal to 92. And then 5 times 5 is 25 plus 6 is equal to 31. That's why 56 times 57 without using your calculator, the answer is 3,192. Nakakuha ba kayo ng perfect score? Very good! So, kung hindi ka naman nakakuha ng perfect score, try and try. Panoorin mo ulit yung video and then, try again. Malay mo, ma-perfect mo na sa susunod. Okay? So, congratulations! So, thank you for listening and watching this video. And dito na nagtatapos ang ating lesson. I hope meron kayong matutunan sa lesson natin ngayon. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell for updates. Thank you and God bless everyone. Stay safe. Bye-bye!